The missing tribe of Assam is a major ethnic group of Northeast India and it is the second largest tribe in Assam. Basically inhabited along the banks of the mighty Brahmaputra and its tributaries, the missing tribe belongs to the greater group of the Tani people who speak languages of the Sino-Tibetan family. The Missings are basically agrarian and their culture and traditions revolves around agriculture. Their main festival Aliyai Legang, Sodas, is related to it. It is celebrated annually in the first wetness day of the Kimur Polo, which in Assamese means the Fagun month and falls in the mid-February. Ali Ai Legang stands for the first sowing of roots and fruits, in which Ali means seeds, Ai means fruits, and Legang means sowing. The Ali Ai Legang festival this year is just three days from now. Preparations are high in all the missing villages. Along with others, the Kananguri village in Dhemaji district along Assam Arunachal Pradesh border is also getting ready for the festival. Tonight, a village meeting has been called to review the preparation for this year's Aliyai Legang festival. Pratap Chandra Pau, the senior most person of the Kananguri village, is also attending the meeting. Pau is a retired principal of the government high secondary school of the area and is also a highly regarded person. Everyone in the village listens to him. After a thorough discussion, workloads were distributed among the villagers for the celebration day. Forest and jungle plays a very important role in the day-to-day -day lives of the Missings. They are still dependent on forests for their needs. Sabo, the youngest son of Pratap Chandra Pau, is at the nearby forest which is about 20 kilometers from the village and is being accompanied with his friends. Oi. They are here to collect taling leaves, which is known as Torapat in Assamese. These leaves will be used in making a special dish in the Aliyai Ligang festival. Sabo says that this time the leaves are not very abundant. Anyhow, this time they managed to collect sufficient amount of the leaves for the festival. Tomorrow is Aliyai Legang. Some youths in the village have gathered at the celebration ground to make the Mirongokum, a community hall. They will build a temporary and a much smaller one, only for the celebration purpose. They will also build a symbolic shed that they use for resting in the field and a granary for storing the harvest. Back home, women folks preparing the Porang Apin with the taling leaves collected from the forest. These will be used in the community feast on the other day. Porang is a kind of cooked rice packed in taling leaves. It has a great significance in the Aliyai Ligang festival. They also prepare taki kesak, a dish made of smoked fish and ginger to have with Purang Apin along with Apong and Pork.
Today is the festival day. People seem very enthusiastic. Everything is getting ready at the celebration ground. A group of men are preparing the place where the rituals and offering to the deities will take place. Women are preparing apong on the Mirongokum. Apong is a kind of rice beer. It traditionally has great significance among the missing and other tribes belonging to the Tani group in Assam and Arunachal Pradesh. Apong is the another most essential item after Puranapi in this festival. Pork is being prepared on the other side. The villagers have designated an elder from the village as the chief guest. He is received from his home by all the villagers as a sign of respect and is guarded to the celebration area. The chief guest unfurls the flag and by doing so he formally inaugurates the festival of Ali Ai Ligang in the village. Now, the ceremony to appease the deities is held. The ritual on the Ali Ai Ligang day is just a symbolic representation of how we do our agricultural activities. This is the beginning of the agricultural cycle. So, once the plowing and sowing of seeds are done, it is the time one is most happy as he and his family will get food for the whole year. So Ligang is less of rituals and more of merrymaking and enjoyment. On the day, we pray Doni Polo, that is, Mother Sun and Father Moon for good rain and prosperity. We pray to Koje Yango, we can call it Goddess Lakshmi for a bumper harvest. We also pray to Karsin Karta, Rukjir Merang, Simen Sike and Sinemobo. These are our guardian spirits. We offer Poro Abong to these deities and pray for protection of our crops from pests, birds, animals and natural calamities. Basically, this is a kind of reminder to the deities or the guardian spirits of nature that we are going to begin our crop and keep the blessing upon us. After the rituals for a bumper harvest is over, it's the time for feasting and merrymaking. Men and women, irrespective of their social status, gender and ages, participate in Soma, which means singing and dancing all together. Ali Ai Ligang is a beautiful and colorful festival. It marks the beginning of the agricultural calendar and also the beginning of the spring season. This age-old tradition of the missing tribe has seen a lot of changes in time due to modernization. But just like many others, they have not only survived the heat of modernization and the change with it, but have also learned to thrive to become one of the major tribes in Northeast India and the second largest tribe of Assam. <laughs>